Today we are looking in the small food pantry that is in my kitchen and how I have organised it over the years. I'll be sharing some hints and tips, wins and fails that have gone along with that. So make sure you stick around. I want to minimise my expenditure on groceries, wastage and if in doubt, chuck it out. That's general meal preparation stuff there. Yes, thanks for talking me through it. Let's keep going. G'day there lovelies, welcome to For the Love of Sorted. Over the last month or so I've been reflecting on the last four or five years and my efforts to get sorted in my home. This series involves reviewing a lot of my old content and comparing it to where I am currently and what I've learnt along the way. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box below because I've started off in the master bedroom, gone through to the bathrooms and just generally how I have changed my life by decluttering. I never thought that I would be a minimalist at heart because I do have a hoarder's heart, but I'm working on it and I am finding that it truly has made a huge difference to my family of six. Today, as I said in the intro, we're looking at the small food pantry that's in my kitchen and how I've organized it over the years and just some things that I have learned. There is a lot. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I create content around my journey to get organized in my home, heart, body and soul. This channel is all focused on homemaking and all things related to that particular role that I fill for my family. So it is everything from cleaning, decluttering, organizing, budgeting, meal planning, all of that fun stuff. So if any of that appeals to you, I would love it if you would join this beautiful community that is for the love of Sorted by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the little bell button so that you'll be notified of my next uploads. And without further ado, let's talk about what I've learned this year or over the years. So as you can tell by the age of my youngest child in the first video, I originally filmed that first one about four years ago. He just turned four. Now, the benefits of a clear and tidy pantry are plentiful. I'm sure I don't have to explain them all to you, but I thought I would just talk about some of the things that I've realized because I tended to rebel against keeping things tidy, thinking it was like a little bit high maintenance and perhaps thinking that it was unnecessary. But I've learned some things over the years. Now, the main thing and the one that motivates me to continuously tidy up is obviously that it saves money. Now, as a family of six, we live on a single income. So I have four children aged 13, 9, 7 and 4. We have two dogs and currently two cats. And we have, you know, a great need to make sure that we are making sure our money goes the furthest. Having the storage to buy in bulk and minimize the need to hit the grocery stores for basic ingredients is super helpful. So I try to, like I said, buy in bulk and store small amounts in this pantry. Personally, I invested in the Tupperware brand Modular Mates almost 20 years ago. So I've had them for quite some time and I can vouch for their quality, although there is many on the market now that definitely probably compete. But since I've spent so much money on them over the years, I'm reluctant to get rid of them. As much as I would love a beautifully aesthetic pantry with matching glass jars and, you know, bamboo and the rest of it it's just not practical for the space I have also with a small and young family the products that I need to use need to be durable and easy to clean it's easy to get caught up in the Pinterest perfect ideals but try to remember to be realistic and use as much of what you have on hand and what you can afford don't get suckered in to buying all of those expensive products with the perfect labels while matching is great and super pleasing to the eye, functionality wins over on that every single time. Having said that, do try to collect your choice of quality containers. I recommend decanting boxed or bagged items into light containers to save on space and keep things looking a little more uniform and easy to find. I do this as I tend to buy in bulk, as I mentioned, but it also helps to see at a glance on what we're running low on and makes the whole meal planning thing that much easier. 
The next tip I have is to utilize baskets or containers as much as you can. Of course, you can go all out on making these all matching and pretty, but keep it as simple as you can and use what you have. Organize like items with like items and categorize them according to how frequently you use them and where you would reach for them. As you will see a little later, I keep my pastas and rice together, my baking items together and my seasoning and vinegars together just because that's how I utilize in my kitchen. You really need to be realistic about what you do in your kitchen. I also recommend trying to make them as slideable or turnable as possible using baskets and drawers and things to make it it easier to access. So I use a Lazy Susan and also clear containers to pull in and out of other larger containers or smaller containers to fit into those containers. Another tip in keeping your pantry tidy is to try to get into the habit of using both hands to put things back. I think one of the main reasons my pantry gets out of control is that I'm rushing to clear things off the benches and just plop them in anywhere and close the door not anyone none the wiser it may take a little longer on the everyday but the time you save long term in being able to locate items not having to clean up spills and knowing at a glance what you've what you're out of outweighs that in no time i haven't taken the full step as yet but it's totally worth labeling everything as much as possible i have done this on and off over the years and i can tell you from experience that it definitely makes a difference even perhaps as I speak about later, putting a little inventory on the pantry door so that you can see what's in there and family members can look without messing things up. That'd be ideal and that's something that I intend to work on over time. It's on my to-do list and I recommend you make sure you're subscribed so that you can see what I do as I work through the house decluttering all over again. Some practical things that I also do is keep bulk flour and breadcrumbs in the freezer. This keeps them fresh and free from weevils and other creatures. And I keep just enough in the pantry to use throughout the week and top them up as I need. Okay, so here we are at the most recent decluttering video that I did in this particular pantry and in this space. And what I am finding is that I'm needing to redo areas every six months or so. I did want to draw attention to this particular little scene right there because if you watch until the end, you will see why that particular bread improver product is kind of funny. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this video was a collaboration with a friend of mine who actually has a decluttering business. I will make sure that she is linked in the description box down below and if I haven't please remind me if you're particularly interested so I have been working my way through my house over the years you know little by little and I must admit that I get to a certain point and I either stall or get distracted it is coming to the busy end of the year with end of school year our school year runs to the calendar here in Australia so we have a lot coming up in the next couple of months, including my daughter's 13th birthday and then Christmas and all the rest of it. So it's going to get to be really busy and I tend to get distracted at this point. Because I'm anticipating that this year, I have set myself some little weekly challenges to get or keep myself on track. So too often at this time of the year, I get distracted, as I mentioned, and I drop the ball and I lose focus on what I'm hoping to achieve. And because I ultimately want to achieve a decluttered home I need to put that into some achievable habits and I've been creating habits and systems and routines that help me maintain a tidy home but I also need to continue to declutter said that if you have a space in your home that you're needing to declutter I potentially have the same so let me know in the comments down below and make sure you're subscribed because I might just distract myself with another little challenge so this is what the pantry looked like in February but since then it felt like 12 months as I mentioned a little bit later but this is what it currently looks like or at least did before this video so it has been at least a year since I gave this pantry a proper good clean out. I have, yeah, it is just very much lacking in organization and there's lots of empty containers, there's lots of half opened or open packages of things that aren't great. There's some bulk items that probably don't need to be there and it's just generally a mess. So it's time to go through it again, clean it all out and get some inventory on what I have. 
Okay, so I'm going to start by just removing everything from the pantry and just putting like items with like because that will help me to clarify what's in here and help me to know what I'd like to keep. Now, some things obviously will just be directly rubbish, so that's that. But um, yeah, I wanna, the goal at the end of this is to actually have some clear shelving again, is to have an inventory of things that I have in here so that I know not to buy more things and what I've run out of. I was really surprised the other week to discover that I'd run out of canned tomatoes. I never run out of canned tomatoes, so um, I have purchased those in bulk. I also just wanna get just some order in here to help with my meal planning, which will be the next step in this great declutter. So, take a deep breath, pull it all out, and get it done. Let's do this. So in case you can't tell, I am absolutely not in the mood to declutter the pantry. However, I knew that it was something that needed to be done. I had set you guys up as my accountability buddies and I was determined to get it done. I have a vision of what I would like my home to look like over the coming months and I have systems and routines and things that I want to put into place but I'm hitting roadblocks when it comes to certain areas in my home. This pantry is one of them. There's also the children's cutlery. There's also uh, just the spices. The spice rack is driving me nuts. It's not working where it currently is above the microwave and it has been driving me months months driving me nuts for months so I, it is something that I really need to do but like I said I'm lacking in motivation but sometimes you just have to get started it's not about motivation sometimes sometimes it's just about building the momentum and start and even if you only get a tiny small space done it's something better than nothing so if you're feeling much the same like things just are all too hard just try for one simple space and and see how that makes you feel. There's no pressure though because your home does not define you. How your pantry look does not decide what kind of a person you are or what you offer the world. It is just a pantry. Don't measure yourself based on the Pinterest perfect images that we are often shown on social media. Okay so now the next step is to wipe everything out. I use sugar soap and gumption and Norwex. So we're going to clean all these shelves, starting from the top, so everything falls down onto the floor, and then clean my way through. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead, crossing rivers, dreams. So now I'm just going to go through all of the spare containers and um, all of the packaging and all of the rest of it and check that the expiry dates are still okay. Uh, also put like I put some extra rice in here and just generally go through and check that everything is okay. So I'm going to work on that slowly behind the scenes, potter around 
and come back to you when it's looking a little bit more tidy. So my thoughts are at this stage is I know that this is kind of like a common grab area. So this would be where I will keep sauces and things like that. Because if I open up the pantry, this is where I go to get things. And that's what you have to be thinking about when you're decluttering a space is how functional it's going to be thereafter. So this is a little bit more child friendly height. So things that I would put here would be things that I need them to have access to. So perhaps some snacks, uh, perhaps that sort of stuff. Um, just general everyday stuff there. Then I will keep pastas and rices and things down here. So that's kind of like meal prep stuff. Under here I've been keeping tins and uh, maybe baking things, I can't remember. Um, down the bottom will be excess stuff, I think, or uh, more just kid kind of foods that they can access down there. Up the top there I think will be overstock stuff and stuff the kids aren't supposed to have but quite frankly they get a chair and climb up there and get it so <laughs> it is what it is so anyway i'm gonna potter my way through this and let you know how i go now i will say i got this out of my walk-in robe tipped out the things that i had in it and this is also a little kmart label that i got some time ago for my walk-in robe as also so eventually i will label things but i'm not gonna rush into that until i know how it works for me so yeah Let's just watch this space. I swear, every year when I clean out my pantry and I film it, I throw out a packet of bread improver. Like, I don't use bread improver in between, clearly, but for some reason I continuously buy it and then I throw it out. It's like this fun little hobby of mine where I just buy things to throw things out. Do you want to go out here? Being bossed by the cat little girl anyways okay so <sighs> yes, evidently i buy things to throw things out and if in doubt chuck it out that's the rule around here no expiry date so like i said if in doubt chuck it out that's what i'm working on so far I've had to throw out a whole thing of brown rice because it was wet, had something in it. I don't know how, because I had it in Tupperware. So she wants to come back in again now. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. <laughs> anyway, um, Nemo used to do the same. Okay, I think 15th of the 6th, 2020, they can go. They were gross anyway. All right, am I making progress? No. Am I continually trying? Yes, I'm always trying and very trying. Just ask my mother. Anyway, I'm gonna, uh, I think, okay, just, just talk me through this, okay? So, got pastas and rices. Here, I'll show you. Pastas and rices down here, right? Because they are the most used in terms of food. I think maybe I should put them up here and maybe put baking down here because I would use these daily-ish, you know, for meals and baking not so much. In fact, I wouldn't use baking at all, let's be real. I hate baking, but, but my husband and my eldest daughter loves baking, so it has to be a shelf. Oh! It has to be a shelf so there's to be a baking shelf I think it's gonna go there yeah I think I'm gonna move all that up there pasta rices couscous general meal preparation stuff there yes thanks for talking me through it let's keep going Seen them rest upon a So while unlabeled, that is snacks and biscuits and things in there, and that is what is, will go in that container as well as they replenish. Moving on down to this 
shelf so we got nuts and snacks and mostly used for cooking um, and this turntable that has all of the oils and seasonings that we use for cooking obviously a knife block there's some extra like condiments and things in here so salsa and uh, just random packages tins of prepared sauces and stuff like that and stock and that sort of stuff at the back here so uh, yeah that's kind of a grab and go then we've got coffee and tea there let's move on to the second one this is like rices and pastas and also just grab and go stuff for preparing meals and obviously Vegemite and honey so that they don't get spilled in other spaces but that is that shelf there moving on down here to the baking shelf now this is a bit chock-a-block but it is all in containers so we've got self-raising flour here and then in here is other baking items so when doing the baking I would hope, hope being the operative word that the baker will pull all of this drawer out to access everything that is in it and place it all back and put it back in there that is the idea so we just have to move a few things in a perfect world it would all fit perfectly but that is just what it is right now I highly recommend using containers for things like this contain everything that you can for ease of keeping things tidy so that is that And down here is pretty self-explanatory again I've just used one of these shell one of these containers to just be able to pull out and push back and over here I've just used a lid from an old box to be able to pull these out just so that you can grab it so much easier down here is the usual overflow of things salts and peppers and things like that and then we have a spare space down there because I keep it real this is the stuff that I still have to find spaces for dishes that have accumulated over the day a little bit of rubbish meal plan and just some cleaning up to do over here so that will be next so I will also say that even though I'm very reluctant to do this, I think it would be very useful. I will be doing a list of everything that is in the pantry and quantities of what is in there so that I can keep it updated. I am not the kind of person to do that, to be honest. I don't believe I will maintain that, but I'm going to give it a shot because I want to minimize my expenditure on groceries wastage that sort of thing i do cook a lot when i cook from scratch so there is that but yeah that is the plan and on that note i will say thank you very much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with a mate if you think she could relate and leave a comment down below let me know how you found me where you come from and what your greatest bugbear is in the kitchen because i'm sure i'm not alone Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.